Anarchists brought a new type of weapon to this march, a tube launching fireballs at the feet of riot police. That and the traditional Molotov cocktails caught police off guard after two hours of peaceful marching, and they did not give chase to the protesters. In fact, police staged their own separate protest against austerity, which has already bitten deeply into their salaries and pensions. There is a gathering anger against Syriza, which came to power promising to end austerity. Even leftists have turned against it. This man fought for the communists in Greece's civil war 70 years ago. It's abundantly clear that they're serving the interests of capitalists. People need to rise up. Workers are the majority. They need to come down here. The only way we're going to resolve this is on the street, not in Parliament. These kindergarten teachers say they've lost a third of their income over eight years. We've already suffered from austerity. These new measures will flatten us completely. We won't be able to eat or pay our bills. This year I'm paying 200 euros more in taxes than last year, on less income. Maybe this is no worse than if we had gone back to the drachma. These local government employees are angry that the government has caved in to allow retail trading on Sundays, which they say hurts small businesses. But it's the new spending cuts that give the most offence. These people say Syriza has surrendered to measures that significantly worsen the terms of the third Greek bailout agreed two years ago. It'll cut 2% of GDP from government spending. That's $4 billion beginning in 2019. But this time, the measures won't be accompanied by new loans. Syriza says it's also legislating spending measures and tax cuts worth as much as the new austerity. But those will only come into play if the economy does well performance has consistently failed to pick up. This year, slight growth was expected, but the first quarter results show the nation remains in the red. So few here are optimistic that the tax cuts and spending will ever take place. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.